Hello friends, Coach Bob with you. And today we are going to be installing something that is really important to me and to Coach Vic, and that is something to use for hydration. I was wondering what other people use, and, I, and I've, I've looked at the internet, and I've looked all over the place. Everybody kind of has their thing. I want to be able to carry a Yeti. I want to be able to carry a coffee cup. I want to be able to carry everything that I can, like in a car. I, I know that I'm being infantile by wanting all of these niceties, but I want them. And then I have to figure out how to drink out of it because I wear a full face helmet. No modular for me until I can afford a modular. Ah! Uh, anyway, you know how expensive they are. The Neotech, the Shoei Neotech, that's what I want. 800 reasons why I don't have that helmet. Not yet anyway. So I worry about the straw situation next. But with everything that I looked at, I, I made a decision early on. I want something that is not just going to be Can-Am specific. So I may have to start out with a Can-Am specific platform, but then maybe I can open options to go in different directions. So hopefully that's what I've got in that box right there. I've been kind of going through this stuff um, to make sure I got what all I need. So let me show you what I ordered and why I ordered what I got. And we'll kind of go through these things. Um, first off, this is made by Ram Mount. Um, this is their little self-balancing. I don't know that I'll really like that or not. It's going to do one thing. It's going to self-balance or it's going to do that and sling my coffee all over me. I don't know which one it will do. <laughs> we'll find out, I'm sure. Uh, and I will send you the results if I'm covered in coffee. That <laughs> might be fun. This is the uh, koozie, the bottomless koozie. Next thing we got, two Ram balls. Got these two Ram balls because I plan on putting on two different things. These are the standard Ram mount Ram balls. Blah, 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 quarter inch by 20 by 0.25 long. So it's just a standard Ram ball mount. That's, that's all you need to know. You can see there's the ball. Looks just like that one. I got these two extension arms. I got a two inch one and a three inch one. That way I can kind of manipulate what I want to do on my handlebar. This was the controversial one to me because I wasn't sure what I was gonna do. This is the uh, monster cup or the spider cup. It's the spider cup, that's what it's called. It's machined aluminum. Um, it's got a little rubber protective uh, coating in there. It also has a sleeve in there and the little set screws. This right here, because it's so big, I wasn't sure if I was really gonna like it. I saw one of these on another spider over bike week and I liked the functionality of it. I like the fact that it's tapped all the way around so that I can put Ram balls on this. And if I see something that's not Can-Am specific, but is Ram ball functional, this opens doors for me. Now, I'm gonna tell you, I've done a lot of research in this. Oh, also, uh, we got the phone mount. This is a machined aluminum. This will be on the other Ram ball. This opens up with this set screw, and when you snug it up, it'll hold itself in place. I don't believe this will vibrate loose. I will keep a close watch on it, I promise you that. I will let you know my findings, and if I lose my phone, hopefully you'll let me know your findings when you find my phone. <laughs> One of my frustrations about this, I'm not a touring guy. I've been a sport bike guy for a long time, or, or a kind of a Harley high-rise handlebar hooligan type guy for a long time. So when I go, okay, I wanna, I wanna put a hydration system on my bike, um, no one really seems to have a direction that they would point me in. So I'm hoping this will give you a foundational, a foundational knowledge on putting something like this on your spider so that you don't have to have it to chance and you don't have to just throw caution to the wind. You can see what I've done and you can go, you know what, what he did works and I don't like this, but what I do like, I can use a Ram ball with it. And I'm not just gonna tell you there's Ram ball stuff all over it. I'm gonna actually show you how it works. Coach Vic also, I looked at what I wanted to get, Coach Vin. Never do this. My dentist is cringing right now. Um, what I wanted to get, Coach Vic, was the Butler drinking system for the back, which had a, a mug and a straw, and, and she didn't like that. And so I'm like, you want to get this? And, and I kind of laughed at her. I'm like, it's kind of chintzy, man. Uh, I, I just, I because she likes her coffee. So she goes, well, I do like my coffee. So what are you gonna do for me? I'm like, well, I don't know. What do you want? She goes, I don't know, but I need something I can put my coffee in. So figure while I'm placing the order, I might as well do this. So we got the Le Monster Garage bottle. She put that in there. She put her coffee in there, whatever. Anyway, we'll see in there. 
Not a good idea. No, I don't think I want to do that. So without further ado, let's start putting some of this stuff on the spider and see where we're going. All right, so we have our spider cuff here. Uh, there's a little rubber piece right in the uh, package right here, which all these little bitty set screws, <laughs> the little ones that I just dumped on the ground. It says, slide the rubber band over the left switch, over this, the switch housing, and put it around the handlebar. Install the spider cuff with drink holder to the front. The supplied set screw are to fill any unused holes, adjust the bottle holder. Now, I'm not gonna do that. I am gonna adjust, I'm, my cup holder is gonna be there because I'm gonna have a cell phone on this thing also. So when I tell you I kinda do things my way, I could be wrong, um, and I'm okay being wrong. But I'm willing to try, and I'm willing to jump out there. Now all I'm doing right now is I'm taking these Allen screws out of here. Not a whole lot to do in this. See them right there? Four of these screws. Two more screws to come out. One more. Those little set screws I was telling you about, they're there to plug up holes, unused ram ball mount holes. Because he has, as you can see, ram ball mount holes machined and into this thing all the way around. That's what turned me on to this particular unit was the flexibility of being able to mount things all the way around and kind of do it my way. Don't necessarily have to kind of go with the flow. I want things where I want them to be and, and I'm willing to move things around and make mistakes in order to have what I want. If I'm gonna ride 2,000 miles, I don't wanna be, oh, well, what do I do next? I don't know what this tube is, and I, I don't have any. I don't have any idea what's in it. Um, <laughs> oh crap! I don't want to get any Loctite on that green rag because I use that thing on body body work. Now, as you'll notice, this thing, these screws where they went in, that is the front of it, okay? And this is the back of it. The bottom will have the model of this particular unit and won't have a ram ball hole on it. So you can see this thing shaped like your handlebar. Uh, I have, like I said, I've never done this. You are learning with me right now. Now, after a bit of finagling, I've decided to run this thing up, right up next to the, um, right up next to the cluster here. And it appears that that makes that notch fit really perfectly on that side. Um, and so I'm gonna, I'm gonna run it here. He said there will be a gap there. So when you start your screws, don't freak out if you have a little bit of a gap. Uh, also, don't tighten up one side at a time. Uh, you get all four screws started. Let's see if we can get the first one started here. All right, so that one's started. Now what we're gonna do, I started the top right hand one. Now we're going to start the bottom left hand. Again, you don't force these things, you let the screw pull itself in, you don't press it in. If you press it in, you will cross thread it in. Okay, now top left, now bottom right. Okay, so we have a little bit of a gap, and he said as you tighten, that gap will close up. And lo and behold, guess what? It is, and it is getting, see how Easy to go over tight on the bottom because you can't see. You don't want to. I don't want to close this gap up too dramatically quick compared to the top. So you want to kind of bend down and check your work every now and then. It's looking very nice. Very nice. I think we are about there. That just got solid down there. Let me tell you. You could tell you got two pieces of metal pressing together now. Remember, this is a aluminum piece. You don't want to kill it. That's one of the reasons I use Loctite, because I can't kill it. I'll tell you, that does feel awfully solid. So that's all there is to mounting the spider cuff. So there it is. Built the holes. Hole, 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 hole. There's seven. On the bottom, there is no hole. That's how you know it's the bottom. That's what it looks like. This is the spider cuff only. He provides nice little set screws to go in and seal all of these threads. That way you don't get any junk in there for when you decide to put something in there in the future. I will be sealing those off as well. That's a solid piece. Now in the words of my deceased grandmother, 
This is the time where you either dance a jig or pitch a shine. I'll let you figure out what that means and we will see how easy this is. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna have to pull out the two ram balls. So let's get those out. Now, most of you guys are familiar with ram balls, I think. I've used them on friends' boats and that sort of thing, but I've never really had a device of any kind that was a ram ball. So I'm thinking my phone is gonna go there, and I'm thinking the shorter arm. So let's see. Again, I've never used these things. I may, this may be completely off. If it can sit like that, right there. And there again, I don't have the ram ball tightened in because I'm just looking, I'm mocking this up. That is, that's a little close. I may not like it there. I may try, I think I'm gonna try it on top. Now the beauty of this, I'm just gonna slide another ram ball here and I'm just gonna start working around, seeing what I like, what I don't. You can mount things anywhere on this thing. And don't let anyone tell you, well, that's the only way you can do it. It's not, they're wrong. That will put the phone a little further back that way, a little high. I think I kind of like that because now with that ball, I can also I can turn it a little bit. I think I like that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with that there for a little while. We'll see. I think I'm gonna try my drink holder in the back. I know you're going, you're gonna hate that, man. You're gonna have to reach all the way around to get to your daggum drink. Well, you're, you may be right. And whenever I get this monstrosity put on here, you may be exceptionally right. <laughs> that is a big old cup holder. <laughs> now see, coming from a guy that rides, you know, more, we'll call them Hot Wheels. Uh, that, to me, this thing's ridiculous. And I'm thinking as I'm looking at this, I may do it di completely different. Yeah, because if I, let's see here what happens. If I make a hard right turn, if it is there. Oh yeah, yeah, no, that, ain't, that, that ain't cool. So we know that ain't gonna fly. That ain't happening. Look at the foam mount again. Let's back it up one. What I'm looking at here, I kind of, I, I like that even better. This gets the foam a little further away from me and I can tilt it. Now I'm gonna tell you something you need to be careful of. You don't wanna cinch that, that uh, screw down so hard that it actually breaks your dang foam. Now that right there, not bad. I'm thinking now, after looking at it, thinking about loosening this, turning it like that. I would say that right there, I can still get to my reverse button. Everything is there. That is where the phone is going. Now it's to figure out where the cup is going. So let's go ahead and lock that on and then we'll start cussing with this cup holder. Five eighths. There you go. That's nice and snug. So five eighths open inch wrench for your ram mount. So I am going to take the proverbial bird in hand and go ahead and mount this because this is you have to have a foundation, and this is the foundation I've chosen. How safe do you feel with your $1,000 iPhone? <laughs> I'm an idiot. That's the most stupid, irresponsible thing you could possibly do. Take a $1,000 iPhone and just hang it in the wind, baby. So as you can see, I'm going in a total opposite direction of what I initially thought I was going to do. And there's nothing wrong with that. You see why, why, why I like the idea of the spider cup? Because you can literally do this. You can literally buy, set up your own world and move things around and buy adapters for it. And, and you, can, you can use that, so, that sort of functionality to me. I'm not gonna make you sit through all this. So after a lot of moving around, a lot of complaining, a lot of whining, you know, the kind of stuff you do when you're installing stuff, where you go, man, that's not right, and I don't like that, that's not what I thought it was going to be, I'm going to tell you, you're okay getting any of the things that I've bought. Are they perfect? No, nothing is. Nothing in life ever is. But I am pleased. Let me show you what I ended up with. I ran the two-inch ram ball mount off of the backside of the, of the uh, spider cuff out to this RAM self-leveling holder. Now, what I did on this, just to let you know, that screw right there, that Phillips head screw, that is what allows it to rotate fore to aft. I locked that screw down. I didn't want it rotating in that direction. 
it actually does work pretty well when you're riding, holding it level that way. But really, in as far as that plane when the motorcycle is moving, that's the plane that I need I need the assistance with. Also, it keeps it if you're stopping from creating a force that might toss that drink out. The three inch arm, I, I, I ran on the back side of the uh, cuff and I ran the three inch arm on the foam. I'm gonna tell you, I think that looks kind of goofy, but the foam is solidly mounted in there. And when I'm sitting as a driver, I'm about here. And for my eyes and for where my hands go, functionally, I really like it. So I may end up sticking with the three inch arm. I may purchase a two inch arm and try one, um, but the three inch is gonna be just fine. So there you have it. Spider cuff, ram gear, that sort of thing. Hopefully this has curbed your fear and maybe given you some enthusiasm to know that you can create something like this. It's really not hard, a little bit of patience, and think outside the box. Your way is not my way, and that's okay. You run your cup wherever you want to, your phone wherever you want to, make it functional for you, and I do like the flexibility of it. Coach Vic's drink holder, which I didn't show, is just a simple, just a simple clamp. You just clamp it on, that's all. You probably heard Coach Vic in the background. She goes, I'm happy. As long as I can have a cup of coffee or something in there, I'm good. She is total utilitarian on this thing. There we are. So until next time, what I want you to do, as soon as you like this video and subscribe to the channel and share it with a few friends, then I want you to leave that house. Go out, buy the motorcycle of your dreams. Eat right, take care of yourself, and remember, if you're not having fun, you're doing it wrong. Now, go seize the day.